Hello and welcome to Lower Murray Waters Year in Review. I'm standing here in front of our pump station on the riverfront of Mildura. Our focus over the past year has been to transform our organisation to improve customer service. We have improved productivity and performance through the business with investments in information technology and business restructuring. Community engagement and support continues to be important for us. For example, this pump station has recently undergone significant works including the installation of two murals. The murals were a collaboration between Lower Murray Water, Cultivator, local students and the community. We have continued to work on projects in Merbeen with the installation of mosaics on our Cluster 3 and historical signage being erected. We will officially unveil these later in November. During the past year, we saw water tariffs for both our urban and rural customers remain steady. Many significant projects were delivered over the year, including the Mildura water trunk main finalisation, improvements to our water treatment plants, and the Mildura district relining of the triple siphon in Irimple. Water quality has continued to be a high priority for the business, with many challenges through late 2016, including the Blackwater event, which was a result of high water flows in the Murray system. In Swan Hill, we undertook automation works on our water treatment plant, as well as relining works on the Piangle water storage tank, plus we commenced preliminary work for the automation of the Kerrang water treatment plant. We also continue to work hard in the development of the rural districts with the Sunraysia Rejuvenation Project. During the past year, we pumped 98,000 megalitres of water to our rural irrigation district customers and treated and supplied 19,600 megalitres of town water to our urban customers. This year, Lower Murray Water has focused on diversity and reconciliation with engagement strategies and action plans to be launched soon. We also conducted extensive consultation with our community on our pricing submission four, with over a thousand members of the community having input into our submission. This submission sets out the maximum prices and services standards that we expect to deliver for the five year period from 2018 through to 2023. Our recent annual customer survey showed improving results with an increase in satisfaction for both our urban and rural customers. Our urban customers indicated a 96% overall satisfaction rate with our service, and our rural customers an 84% satisfaction rate. These results are up from the previous year. Recently, we welcomed three new board members to our organisation, and we would like to thank our retiring members, our previous chair, John Tesoriro, Kay Martin, and Tony Matthews for their outstanding contributions. Thank you to our customers for your ongoing support, and we wish you a happy festive season.